Hola YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I am your girl Beauty by Lenoria across all my social media platforms. If you would, go ahead and thumbs up this video, subscribe to my channel, and of course, go ahead and get a conversation started with me in the comment section below. And of course, you can go ahead and share it amongst your family, friends, and coworkers. But as you already guessed by the title and thumbnail of this video, we're going to go ahead and get into my delayed because I was sick, so I definitely apologize. But this is the actual March Boxy Lux box that we got in from Boxy Charm. So if you're ready to see what goodies we got in this box, and is it actually worth the additional money? Let's go ahead and get into the video. You're my bitter one taking me home. Okay, so this month's box is going to be a uh, La Vie en Rose. La Vie en Rose. La Vie en Rose. Uh, don't, don't give me the lie. But anyway, this is what the actual box looks like. I'm going to get my life together. That would be great. But this is what the actual contents of the actual box looks like. And there are some other items under there as well. So we're going to go ahead and dive right into the actual box. And since this was the first thing that was actually sitting on top, we're going to talk about the Boxy Charm Charm case. Of course, it is expandable. It expands out about to be about six inches wide. I'm not going to do anything particularly with this particular ch charm train case because when I do giveaways and different things like that, I like to always put train cases, makeup bags, something to wear when you guys are traveling or whatever it may be if you want to keep this on your um, vanity in your bathroom or your bedroom or whatever I like to always include things like this in a giveaway so I'm not gonna do anything with this one but this boxy charm train case it is rose gold and it has a retail value of $20 so that's the first thing that came in our box and it's stunning it's like a little snake skin but not really rose gold bag it's really pretty as you can see it has a pink holographic shift to it it's pretty the next thing that we're going to talk about is our cover FX this is the perfecter face palette and this has six must-have complexion essentials and and a, and a pretty much a travel size palette it is a tack a talk <laughs> it's a talk free formula and it retails for $45 they say you can sculpt contour blush illuminate with the uh, two different shimmering highlighters and of course there are different brightener and finishing powders in here too so let's go ahead and take a look at it that is beautiful let's get you a little closer this is what the outside of the package looks like here's the back and this is what it looks like so Those highlighters right here at the top, these highlighters right here are stunningly beautiful. So this is what the outside of the package looks like. And then of course, you know, we got the back of the actual package with the actual names of the highlighters and what they're supposed to be used for, whether it's a contour, finishing powder, blush, or a highlighter, or a brightener, or a luminizer. And then of course, you have the inside of the package. And of course, you know, swatching it across my skin tone, I am so happy that cover FX paid attention to my profile because I know part of the issues they had with the monthly boxes and also the boxy lux boxes was that people weren't necessarily most people got the compact that was according to their profile whether you decided that you were light and fair tone or if you were medium tan deep tone so I'm happy I did go ahead and get the deeper version of the actual palette but there it is that blush they're all so creamy and soft to use that blush is a stunning stunning blush is more of a it's more of an autumn winter blush to be honest with you because as you can see right here during the spring and summertime I use bright blushes but that's really cute if I'm going for a sultry look one day um this finishing powder has a little bit of sheen to it so this would be great to just add on a complete finishing once you completely do your entire face um avoiding the areas you've highlighted but just to go on to the apples of your cheek in the center of your face kind of like that Jaclyn Hill trick would be pretty nice it kind of reminds me a little bit of the powder by Charlotte Tilbury this particular palette right here the airbrush flawless finish powder 
when you actually do your makeup prior to adding your highlighter, if you'll go in and take your brush, a, a fluffy but dense brush, and just go ahead and just finish your face off with this. This gives the face an airbrush, beautiful finish with the health machine. So if you're one of those people like me who have oily skin, but you completely mat everything out and it looks super dry, to add that life and luminosity back to your skin, you would either use something like this or the Charlotte Tilbury. And of course, that contour. I'm so happy we finally got a contour shade in our boxes that are deep and dark enough for women of color to actually use. And of course, the highlighters. Uh, that middle shade is supposed to be a brightener, but for women of color looking at this box, honest to God, I would literally just take like a Sigma, this is the F35, and I would literally just, I would run across all three and just use that as a highlighter. That's exactly how I would use them. But that is a beautiful thing. I'm happy we got that in our box. Um, the next thing we got in our box are going to be these Moda brushes. They're the powder and, of course, the soft glow kit. So you're going to get two Moda brushes in here. One is a powder brush and, of course, one is a highlighter brush. And, of course, they are rose gold and they retail for $29. So let's go ahead and take a look at these Moda brushes. These are the two motor brushes that came. This is a huge fluffy highlighter brush. I'm not sure if I use this to swipe away powder because the highlight, it may work since I like a large swatch highlighted on my face because I bring the highlight all the way down to my cheek. So when you look straight on, it's all this luminosity right here. But this may, I'll figure something out. But this, this right here, this is perfect for packing on powder, Throw it in your makeup bag when you're traveling to take it with you. So you can go ahead and just put like, uh, <laughs> I already got it dirty. <laughs> but you can go ahead and take a loose translucent powder or your face powder with you throughout the day. And you can use this for touch-ups throughout the actual day. So yeah, I'm definitely happy with uh, this brush set from Moda. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next thing. The next thing that we got is the Iconic. This is their eyebrow cushion. And pretty much it's a cushion for your actual eyebrows and it retails for $40. Okay, Iconic. Um, let me not frown my face up too soon. Let me even stop being judgmental. Um, Iconic London has some beautiful products, some beautiful products. Their liquid face luminizers are to die for. So Iconic London is a brand, it's, it's a strong contender in the market. Matter of fact, they're one of the ones who bought that strong luminosity to light. They took the Cover FX liquid version, the liquid highlighters, and took them to a whole nother level. Uh, if you watch Jaclyn Hill, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, this is what the inside of it looks like. So it does come with the eyebrow brush and a spoolie. And of course your product itself is protected with this little closed thing so it keeps it from drying out. And on the inside, you see it's protected with the actual foil thing. I'm gonna go ahead and open it so I can actually try this in the future for you guys. Wow. Okay, so it's kind of like the Anastasia dip brow powders that come split pan. So you have a lighter shade for the beginning part of your brow to start out an ombre, and then the deeper is to define around the outline and the actual tail. So because so much product came off on the actual thing, I'll go ahead and swatch from there. But let me go ahead and make sure I close it. And it comes with a mirror to help you out too. So let me go ahead and just swatch this so you guys can actually see. So this is the lighter side over here, and this is the darker side over here. You know how when you be cleaning your car and you be spraying tire shine on your car and stuff? Or when you go to the auto detail place and you know how it just has that smell? I'm not talking about the soap smell. I'm talking about the chemical smell from all the stuff they spray on your car while they're cleaning and vacuuming and waxing your car. That's exactly what this smells like. I'm like, and it feels kind of oily, but it completely dried down transfer proof. Anyway, this is the lighter version you're supposed to use at the beginning part of your brows, and this is the darker version over here to use at the end of your brows. So, yeah. Does it tell me what shade I got? That would help you guys, huh? Um, the Sculpt and Boost Eyebrow Cushion, and I got the number six. 
Uh, I'm sorry, that's six grams. I'm so stupid. <laughs> so you get six grams of product, and I got the shade medium. Medium? Wait, what? Well, I guess. I, I don't, I mean, I'm looking at my brows now, obviously. I use Granite Ebony Jet Set Black. I like super dark eyebrows on me, um, but, hmm. Huh. Yeah, I'll give it a try. I'm not, I'm not counting out yet. And I like and respect the brand. They have really great stuff. So yeah, we'll definitely, we can definitely go ahead and see, you know, how that actually works out. It's not a problem. Um, the next thing that we have in our box is going to be the Wonder Beauty Lift Off Purifying and Brightening Peel Off Mask. Oh, so this is what we got. So this mask is supposed to contain a blend of skin-loving acai, goji berry, blueberry, lychee, magosteen, and green tea leaf extracts. Um, it's pretty much a purifying and brightening peel-off mask, and it says it instantly purifies and replenishes dull skin for excess oil and impurities. They help draw in. It's, it's, it's an oil-absorbing mask, so it may be good for people with oily skin. Now, I will tell you, when you start to talk about putting all these extracts inside of a product, you run the risk of more people having allergic reactions or not working well for the, for the consumer. So the fact that they have so many extracts and natural oils placed in this actual product can present a problem for certain people that retails for $34 from Wonder Beauty. I would definitely tell you guys if you got this in your box or if you plan on going to go get it, you saw it and you was like, hmm, let me go ahead and try it. I would tell you to do a patch test. You want to do a patch test right in here or on the inside of your elbow. You want to go ahead and do a patch test and leave it on for 15 minutes. You see any type of redness. I'm not talking about the redness from when you're peeling it off. No. I'm saying redness as far as your allergic reaction or any small mica, the, the milla bumps that you can sometimes, those little small white bumps you'll get on your face when you're doing certain skincare and makeup, that's an allergic reaction. They're called milla bumps. Don't use it. I would definitely tell you to go ahead and proceed with caution with this product just because of the ingredients in the actual product. And they say it's formulated without mineral oil, parabens, Silates, it's vegan and gluten free and cruelty free. So that's a good thing. And the shelf month for this product is six months. And they do give you 2.02 ounces of product. So I can definitely see this face last lasting you a good two months if you do face masks once an actual week, especially with the peel off. Now, the one thing I'm going to tell you guys about peel off masks. Shave your peach fuzz. Shave your face. Carly Bobble did a video a few years ago teaching you how to shave your face. Jacqueline Hill just did a video a few ooh, last week, week before last, showing you how to shave your face. Um, I shave my face every two weeks. Now, I'll go in and clean up my eyebrows, <laughs> chin, beard, and mustache. I do that once or twice a week. But as far as my entire face, I don't dry shave my face. Both of those videos showed you how to dry, dry shave your face and help with exfoliation. I wet shave my face. As in, I go ahead and wash my face. And with my face wash still on my face, avoiding my eye area, I'll take the little blade, same blade both ladies use, the eyebrow archer blade. I'll take that and go around and just shave across my face. And for me, that's just better because that's not how I exfoliate my face by shaving my face. But any type of friction like that is going to exfoliate anyway. Long story short, you get it. Anytime you're using a peel-off mask, I would definitely go ahead and tell you guys, shave. Because your peel-off masks are going to be painful anyway for the most part. It's going to be super painful if you got all of this clear baby hair right here. Or if you have these long sideburns going down here. Or if you have all of this peach fuzz, especially around your nose and eyes and eyebrows. Go ahead and get rid of all that peach fuzz. I promise you. I promise you. Your experience will go a whole lot better. But I'm happy we got this. I'll follow up with you guys next month to see... Did it break me out? Did it work? You know, is it something I would recommend? Is it something I would actually go repurchase? So we'll follow up with this brand. Next thing we got in the box came in from Becca. And this is their Ultimate Lipstick in Love. It's a moisturizing eight hour long wear silky satin lip color infused with basically hyaluronic acid. And it retails for $24. So. Let's go ahead, and I got the shade Bear. Ooh, a new lip. Okay, Becca. I've never tried a Becca lipstick, so let's try. Okay, so now that I... It smells like vanilla. It 
if you're sensitive to scent, stay away from it because it does smell like vanilla and it, it smells good. It smells like vanilla cookies, to be honest with you. It smells really, really good. It smells like, oh God, now I want some vanilla cookies. Now I'm gonna go to the cookie company, the Great American Cookie Company at the mall. <laughs> Focus. I want some cookies. Anyway, so it's more of a pinky nude. I can see this shade on my fair skin beauties and my light skin beauties out there being a very pretty milk. Uh, it's a brown tone peach. I'm sorry, pink. Uh, yeah, it's a brownie pinky nude. So I can see this being your lips, but better. But as you start to get into the tan, deep, and rich categories, my melanin infused babies out there, boo. This is gonna be a stunning, a stunning pinky, peachy kind of nude for you. Just line your lips with some type of brown or brownish red type of lip liner or liquid lipstick if you're like me. And then just go ahead and put this on. And when I tell you it has a small sheen to it, but blending it out, it doesn't actually lose pigmentation. So I I can see how this would work. And again, I've never tried a Becca lipstick, so I'm I'm happy we got this in this box. I can definitely go ahead and look at this. And it's very luxe packaging, like it's heavy. Like the only other heavy lipstick I have like this is going to be this right here. It's like the Pat McGrath lipsticks. They're heavy. Like, and this is the heaviest lipstick that I actually have. So, mm, okay, Becca. I see you. I see you. Okay, Becca. Next thing we have on the list is the It Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream Transforming Moisturizing Super Cream. Blah, 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 blah. You know, this is It Cosmetics staple product. You guys already know the Confidence in a Cream is literally one of the best selling moisturizers worldwide not just in the united states not in not in canada but worldwide this is going to be one of those products that are just mind-blowing and the fact that they just went ahead and gave us a full size two fluid ounces of you know a product that costs almost 50 dollars it retails for 48 dollars i know ulta had it on sale during their 21 days of beauty I'm not sure if it was a 50% off or it was a daily deal, but they did have this on sale. So I've seen this a lot. I've never really ventured over to the actual brand for, you know, other reasons that, you know, they're not necessarily the most inclusive brand. So I just pretty much, I don't mess with it cosmetics for the most part outside of their, their actual brushes, which are freaking phenomenal. I love their brushes and stuff, but yeah. I'm going to give it a try and see how it goes. Again, I'll follow up with you guys. I'll see if I have an allergic reaction or breakout or if it is what my skin has been missing. If it's like a drink of water for my oily skin, I'll definitely follow up and let you guys know. The next thing that we got now, this one. Uh-huh, yeah, yeah. This is the Morphe 15D eyeshadow palette. This is their Day Slayer. And... When I tell you I was going to go ahead and get it myself anyway online, like I've been looking at this palette since it came out, to be honest with you. Ever since they debuted this palette, and I'm sorry, this is um, retails for $16. Morphe eyeshadows are very hit and miss. Um, certain formulations and certain, uh, certain, certain formulations and certain palettes are just trash. And other ones are so beautiful, like so amazing. Like some palettes they have rival and can stand up to a Natasha Denona and Pat McGrath. That's how good certain formulations are. And then other formulations are like, it's the $2 makeup at Claire's. Like you're like, I don't understand how one company could put out such a phenomenal, amazing product. And this is across the board, not just with eyeshadows, but with everything they do. They have products that are holy grail, top tier. And then they have trash. I'm like, 
And what really irritates me beyond belief when it comes to Morphe besides everybody pushing their code and I, that doesn't really bother me because I'm like, get your money, boo. Don't be giving us fake false reviews in order to get your money. But at the end of the day, you've reached that point in your career where a company is willing to pay you to give a discount to your subscribers. Kudos, get your money, boo. But what really irritates me the most with Morphe outside of the OG products and trash products is sometimes in a palette, it's a really pretty, it's a neutral palette with a whole lot of orange, basically. But what irritates me with them is sometimes you could have certain shades in the palette. Like, if you guys have several Morphe palettes, then you know what I'm talking about. Like, some shades in the palette will be man this is amazing this is beautiful the pigmentation is amazing and off this world then you move on to another shade and you be like square up i want you to square up i want you to meet me outside and i want you to square up because you tried me and 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 i want you to square up <laughs> but um how can i say this I don't offer I don't order from Morphe's website. At the my last debacle that I had when I ordered that Jacqueline Hill vault, and my, my vault was complete crap. My vault was complete crap. I told y'all that on my Instagram. And the back and forth I had to go through with several emails with their actual customer service and I had to pay I had to pay to ship it back to them. I had to pay a restocking fee and all this. I was like, just forget it. I'm just gonna keep the stupid palette. But just know that you lost the customer as far as ordering on your website. And it's been very little that Morphe has released since then that I've actually got. Because they just left a bad, they left a very bad taste in my mouth with that. So outside of me getting something inside a box like this or something coming out that truly blows my mind, I'm not here for it. That James Charles palette, although it was beautiful, I had the original Morphe color palette and it still performs excellent. So it's, I, I have absolutely no reason to go buy two big mega color palettes like that. Said the girl who only wears colorful eyeshadow. Get your life in. But let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the palette. I'm just gonna go in and swatch random shades. Never swatch it, never use it. Just open it up on camera. So let's go ahead and swatch random shades. Shades that actually show up on my skin tone. We're gonna go ahead and swatch Spark. It's soft. It's packed a little too hard, I can tell you that much. I can tell from touching it and swatching it, it's packed too hard in the pan. So you may start to experience hard pan with that. After you use eyeshadows for a while, you can kind of tell when shades just are gonna um, create problems and issues. So I went ahead and swatched Spark in the crease. And let's go ahead and do Glow, this really pretty orange. They're soft and they're beauty beautiful. The mattes aren't packed too hard, but they're super powdery. I'm gonna show you guys that in a moment. We're gonna go ahead and take blend. And then we wanna go ahead and take one more matte. So let's go ahead and take this shade Define. This red tone matte that is really soft. So on my hand, when you're looking at the shimmers, this is the matte, this is the matte. But these shimmers, are stunningly beautiful but wait a minute okay so this one is a little bit brighter and this one is a little bit more bronze but on the eye boo you, you can't tell you can't let's 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 go ahead and swatch um let's be fair and swatch it <laughs> Now these are swatching pretty and I know it didn't just drop fall out on my new dress. I don't I don't have I know the devil is a lie. Anyway, so it's swatched really pretty. I can't complain or be upset with that. And this one actually goes to a deeper tone rose gold. And this one is really, really pretty for underbrow highlight or to transition one of these shades to give a transitional ombre on the actual lid from light to dark. That would be really pretty. But yeah, they are powdery. Just take some of that off so I'm not dropping powder everywhere. But let's go ahead and show you guys a close up of it. So yeah, 
I can say right now for the swatches and pigmentation from what I can see sitting here right now, I'm pretty happy with the palette and I'm definitely down to do a brownie orangey gold type of look. I mean, it's neutral, but mm, it's brown, gold, and orange basically. So yeah, we'll definitely go ahead and venture back around to this. And again, it was only $16. And by the way, I bought all my Morphe products when I buy Morphe from Ulta. The next thing in the box is from a brand I've never tried before. And I know this isn't like her, some of her best lashes. But the next thing in the box came in from Lily Lashes. And this is their exclusive Fall Mink Lashes. And these are their this is her Gala Lashes. And they pretty much aren't real mink. And they'll last you up to 20 wears if you take care of them and careful how you apply and use your actual glue with it. And of course, it retails for $24.99. I'm sorry, I'm not sure if I told you guys that or not. And it has the winged out style. Uh -huh. It's pretty natural. Um, I'm not gonna use them or do anything with it. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, give this to a giveaway. Uh, I wasn't too fond of what she did in reference to the whole packaging issue that she had with Lena Lashes. And I'm a huge Lena Lashes fan, like huge Lena Lashes fan. So when she did what she did with all of, you know, the different, you know, last things and stuff that Lena Lashes have, when Lily... <sighs> Yeah, no, I'm not here. It's not that I won't buy from the brand. I won't, tr I won't use the brand. It's just when you just do certain things, you know, especially against smaller indie brands. I'm like, eh, I'm gonna put you on timeout like you one of my kids. You're definitely going on timeout. But uh, again, they're, they're pretty. It's not to say that it's not a pretty lash. It is a gorgeous lash, especially on the days where. You know, for me, I'm just doing no eyeshadow, no nothing. I'm just eyebrows, light foundation, eyeliner, lipstick, chapstick, stick on a pair of lashes out the door. This is beautiful for those type of days or for people who aren't into these uh, mammoth 30 inch long flapping away Dumbo lashes. I know everybody ain't, let me, let me not say ain't. <laughs> Everybody isn't into these big ass eyelashes. <laughs> so, you know, this is definitely a more everyday type of woman type of eyelash. So, yeah. But I definitely think that one of you guys would love this. Love this. And, you know, just to be able to, maybe you haven't tried Lily Lashes or whatever it may be. So, I'm going to go ahead and leave this as part of my actual giveaway. And the next thing that we have, and the last thing that we have is Odyssey. This is their Sweet Almond Cuticle Oil. Now, I love when BoxyCharm gives us cuticle oils. I have their other cuticle oil. I got that cuticle oil about three years ago. I'm still using that cuticle oil. Every time I go in and do my nails, I do my nails myself. Um, I'm El Cheapo, just in case you hadn't realized. <laughs> Said the girl who has... This haul right here coming for you guys. That is a Kohl's haul, a Foot Locker haul, and a Shoe Show haul full of Nikes, Adidas, Pumas, Champion. <laughs> okay, focus. I am a cheapskate, as in, <laughs> I save my money when and how I can. Because in my mind, if I'm looking at, let's just say, I'm looking at a $100 pair of sneakers. If I'm bouncing back and forth in between Finish Line, Foot Locker, Man Alive, DTLR, Coles, Macy's, and I could find those shoes, if not on sale, but if I can use a 20 or 25% off coupon, I'm like, boom, let's get it. But then I take that 20, $25 in savings and I end up at Sephora. So, <laughs> hey, I'm a cheapskate because I know I'm going to spend the money someplace else. That's, that's, that's just my mindset. But back to this cuticle oil. So this cuticle oil is by NCLA. And this is their So Rich cuticle oil. And it has little, little micas in here. It has, it has stuff in the bottle. What is this? It's vitamin E, shea. It's vitamin E oil, shea, shea butter oil, sweet almond oil, and jojoba oils. So, 
certain times, if, especially if you have natural hair or you do your own do-it-yourself oils for your actual hair, you know when you mix certain oils or essential oils together, how they kind of clump up a little bit and you have to shake it real good or slightly heat it to get them blended back together. That's what I'm, that's probably what this is in this actual bottle. And I'm here for, this is, retails for $18. Let me show you guys close up so you can see what I'm talking about. See that stuff inside of it? And you can really see it more or less on the side. Well, not on that side. Let's see. You see those little, like, particles and things? At first, I thought it was, like, mica, some type of glitter. But that's just the oils and how they are in the bottom. Sometimes they actually separate and come apart like that. And all you got to do is just shake it up. I'm so retarded. And everything pretty much blends back together. But yeah, I can't wait to use this oil because I'm El Cheapo, back to, focus in, back to the point of my story. Because I do my nails at home myself, you know, I just, <sighs> if I can save money and I have to pay somebody else to do my nails every two weeks and I just do my nails, that's why sometimes they're chip because I'm, I'm all so lazy. But you know, if I can save money on doing that, then I can spend that money and purpose it somewhere else and do something else. But anyway... You guys already know. We've made it to the end of this month's Boxy Charm Lux box, the Boxy Lux. I am thrilled. This this month is the happiest I have been with my Boxy Charm Lux. Said the girl who's only received two boxes. So this is my second box, and I'm much more happier with this box. The first box I received was phenomenal. It was an amazing box. It's just I had most of the stuff there. And it didn't make any sense for me to keep something that I already have. Mm -mm, follow me. My mindset is, especially with me doing YouTube videos, when I have duplicates of products or products that come similarly close to something I already have in my collection because I have a large collection, it makes no sense for me to keep it. So when I get something in, it isn't that I necessarily I don't like it, don't want it, or don't use it, or anything like that. Even with lily lashes, I told you guys the story. It's not like I don't want to try the brand because I've never tried a pair of lily lashes. I definitely want to. I really do. It's just right now she's on a timeout for me. Now, just because I have personal feelings and emotions tied to a brand that's keeping me on the outside of making purchases with the brand doesn't mean that I can't bless one of you guys with those products. So anytime I get something in or I buy something or, you know, uh, for some odd reason I ain't paying attention, I'll check out what doubles or <laughs> whatever it is. Or I actually go out of my way to purchase certain things for my actual giveaway. I, I'm i definitely going to pass that on to you guys. But anyway, we've made it to this part. Let me know what you actually liked in this month's Boxy Lux by Boxy Charm. I freaking love everything. There isn't one thing here that I'm like... Oh, hell no. <laughs> I love everything here. Like, yes, I'm 100% in for this. So I'm going to let them charge my account again in June. But if you want a discount on your actual BoxyCharm, of course, I've already left that code information in the actual video. Go ahead and use that for your actual free gift. And again, thank you so much for watching my video YouTube and spending some time today with your girl, even though it's all over the place. <laughs> But thank you so much, whether you're watching me in the morning, afternoon, evening, late at night, whenever you're watching me, you know, order in Boxy Charm. <laughs> and until next time, thank you so much, YouTube.